more ancient history jewelry stories. By now we've talked a little bit about how jewelry can be a great signifier of cultural change and evolution, especially cross-cultural dialect. But I think we can also all agree that jewelry is a great signifier of the things that don't change. I'm always a fan of jewelry that shows a conversation happening across the divide of centuries. I think these two pieces are a really great illustration of how what humans want doesn't really change that much. This first piece is an ancient Roman ring. And this is depicting a tiny seahorse perched on top of a thin and delicate band with some really beautiful adornments on the sides. It's a fairly simple piece of jewelry compared to some of the other pieces that we've talked about, but it's beautiful and dainty, and you can imagine that the person who originally owned and wore it really loved it. Now compare that with this Renaissance-era ring featuring a tiny enameled rabbit. I think these rings are strikingly similar in shape and form, idea, and execution, ignoring the fact that one has enamel and the other doesn't. A small rabbit is perched on top of a dainty but beautifully adorned band, and I think it's safe to say that the seahorse ring would have appealed to the owner of the rabbit ring and vice versa. Of course, the Renaissance era was a time when Europe was looking back at classical periods like ancient Greece and Rome to inform the art and aesthetics of their day. But I don't believe that the jeweler who created the rabbit ring would have seen the seahorse ring. They are just coincidentally two very similar pieces of jewelry. Tiny sculptural tributes to whimsy.